Good morning. Uh, we're joined now, if you weren't with us, uh, Senate Minority Leader, State Senator Zach Walls. Appreciate you being here. Uh, we were talking about House legislation as it pertains uh, to caucus and how Iowans participate into that. Now we're going to be talking about some more legislation that came out of the House uh, regarding eminent domain uh, requiring 90% voluntary easements for those um, living along these pipeline routes. Uh, hasn't seen any action on the Senate side or not a whole lot of it in terms of uh, not seen the floor for debate. What, what's your opinion on that bill? Well, Zach, not only has it not seen the floor for debate, it wasn't even given a subcommittee. Uh, Republican Senator Mike Busolo from Ankeny refused to even schedule a public hearing on this bill in the Senate to give the, the public an opportunity to weigh in. He gave a, a reason that it wouldn't have been able to get to the, to the through committee by the end of the week. Uh, which of course was completely ridiculous. Uh, it's totally normal for bills to get subcommittees, even if there isn't the option of it getting to a full committee. What we're seeing is is the Senate Republican Caucus blocking any conversation on this bill in the Senate, uh, let alone any debate. Uh, so I've been pretty surprised by that. You know, you certain you saw a, a big bipartisan vote come out of the House. Uh, and look, we can we can talk about carbon pipelines and eminent domain, and I'm sure we will here in a moment. Uh, but I was I thought it was pretty shocking that Senate Republicans have blocked any conversation of this bill in the legislature in the Senate on the Senate side. And in the House side, the debate, it was uh, super unique. Uh, it was something that kind of crossed party lines where maybe individuals are having their own specific viewpoints rather than going with the party thought train right. on it. Where do you think on this specific bill, um, you know, people are concerned that, hey, 90 percent doesn't mean 100 percent. They wanted more protections for the farmers thinking that uh, this legislation doesn't go far enough. Other Republicans and Democrats are saying we need something on the books to protect right. these property owners. Where do you stand? Well, I think eminent domain is one of several issues that are related to this pipeline. Uh, you know, some of the concerns that my caucus had had uh, related to uh, the use of the sequestered carbon for what's called enhanced oil recovery, which we strongly opposed. If the purpose of the carbon pipeline is to sequester carbon, you shouldn't be using it to get more oil out of the ground. Uh, we also you know, had concerns about who's going to be getting these jobs, right? Are these pipelines going to be safe? Then obviously we've heard a lot about eminent domain uh, and the 90% threshold uh, was one that was thrown out there. There were other conversations, um, but at the end of the day, uh, none of the specifics matter if you're not able to have a debate on it. And that's where we're at at the moment in the Senate. Disappointed, uh, fair to say. That you Absolutely. No, we should have had the, there should have been a subcommittee. It should have come through the process. Y again, you're just, in Republicans, the, the idea that you, you, just, you couldn't have a debate at all uh, was ridiculous. Uh, we're going to shift over to just LGBTQ legislation as a whole. There's a bunch of specific bills that had been passed and the governor has signed several of them now. I guess let's just start uh, talking about the education of LGBTQ related topics in grades K through six, I believe is what the uh, governor's bill stands at now. Uh, what are your thoughts of uh, the Republican Party kind of going after this community? Well, again, the number one thing, all education should be age appropriate. I don't think that's a controversial opinion. Democrat, Republican, Independent, we all believe that we need to have age appropriate education. What I will say is that there are uh, a lot of folks, including myself, who have LGBT parents. And the idea that you wouldn't be able to talk about your family in a classroom setting is really scary. Uh, and the idea that you're going to use the power of state government to reach into the classroom and determine what topics can or can't be discussed, rather than just trusting teachers, and that to me, I, I think that's the wrong approach. You know, we obviously have for many, many years had an incredible public education system in the state of Iowa. And what we've seen over the last several years are attacks by the Republican Party on our teachers, attacks on our public education system, the undermining of our public education system. Uh, and I think that what we're seeing is really just disrespect. And that's going to make it really hard for us to keep great teachers in Iowa. And it's going to make it harder for us to attract and retain young families in the state uh, who benefit from what historically was a great public education system. All right, Senate Minority Leader Zach Walls, thanks for joining us this morning. Wish we had more time, but we don't. Uh, we'll be we back. Appreciate you being here. Of course. All right, thanks. hey, don't go anywhere. More to come in the next half hour of today. I will Sunday.